Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace.com. Poof, Madeira, Madeira. It is awesome here, still. We're now in the south, I guess, or just heading to the south. <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> we are now on day five, six or something like that in Madeira, Madeira, Madeira. And it is absolutely beautiful still. We're on our way to the south now, towards Funchal cruising through the west and look at this it's just absolutely stunning so i don't know what we're getting up to photography wise but i guarantee you there'll be something the easiest guarantee ever madeira might just be the best landscape photography destination on earth at least for a place so small i mean even the roads in this place are photogenic Okay, so we've come to, I don't know what this is called, Devil something, uh, near the airport. Uh, it's just this sea stack. I'm not even sure actually it's a sea stack, but some rocks off the coast. And another seascape here. It looks like it's gonna be actually a pretty easy composition with some foreground water, maybe some stuff playing around in the midground, and a big sea stack. Uh, the problem is there's definitely not gonna be really good sunset light tonight, so, Maybe black and white-ish, or uh, at least just play with the tones here, I think. So, you can get the camera set up, you can take a photo. The first photo is okay, but I feel like it's lacking some impact. So I moved a little bit closer to the action of the sea swell. Okay, so I've moved uh, and still on my phone. Getting a little bit risky with the camera. I'm right down on the, the water now as the tides dropped a little bit closer. And I'm trying to find some way to create a leading line into the big sea stack. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Woo, like that kind of with this falling water, but it's just not balanced perfect and I'm being really picky. So the water kind of leans me a little bit too much to the right whereas the sea stacks to the left if i move more to the right i lose that leading line if that makes sense so i don't know what i'm going to do with this composition but i'm definitely having more fun down here closer to everything uh, than i was back there it's that old rule if you think your photo's missing some impact get closer to the subject so that's what i'm doing and I think I'm a little bit too close to the subject, almost getting hit by waves. And when I say almost, I mean... Uh oh. But it led to the best photo of the evening. Okay, it is now uh, 6.30 in the morning and we've just climbed up to a place called Pedras Blancas, White Rocks. And uh, this is kind of a famous spot because you have the whole snake's tail of the island here kind of leading off into nothing. And it's uh, pretty epic up here. So about 30 minutes until sunrise, we set up shop, watch the world wake up. Definitely my favorite thing in the world is watching the light lift while surrounded by powerful nature like this. I pressed the shutter early in the morning and I'm glad I did. These two images well before sunrise are easily my favorites. And just as the sun was rising, the rain came out of nowhere. So did the sun. Oh, there's sun. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit. <laughs> you couldn't take a photo right now, but the sun is like punching through and there's one spot of orange off in the distance. Looks kind of cool. Oh, shit. We're getting rained on. Yeah, the rains rolled in on us all day. 
But one of the coolest things about photography in Madeira is you always have options. So while it's raining down in lower elevations, it's often possible to get above the clouds in the highlands, or at least into them. So this has been a uh, location scouting trip in Madeira, which means that, um, yes, we've been out taking photos at sunset and sunrise, but we've also been out exploring as much as possible during the day, just looking at things, just seeing if there's other photo locations and, and things like that. And it's been a little bit exhausting, I gotta be honest with you, I'm so tired. Tomorrow's the last day, and I'm, yeah, I'm like gonna need a vacation from this vacation, but it has been so much fun. We've just climbed this really steep road to basically the top of the island and we're covered by cloud right now. So it's not exactly ideal for a location scouting uh, mission, but it is a lot of fun. I mean, look at this. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Surrounded by fog, I started to feel like this might end up being one of those days that's really fun to live, but not great for photography. But we press through the rain and low level clouds looking for anything to photograph. Okay, so we saw a spot on the map called the Magic Tree and we just stopped there and it's magic right now in this fog. You can see this tree here. I've already just walked around this tree just halfway and I think there's three or four cool images. and I haven't really worked them out so much and I probably should be using a tripod rather than ISO 800, which I am doing now. But there's kind of like a telephoto photo that way through the tree with it lit really beautifully and not getting the whole tree. And then on this side, if you go crazy wide, you get all these really tall, perfectly straight trees with this twisty one right in the middle of it. And it's really cool, really, really wide. This is actually a lot of fun. This tree, I could probably spend an hour just on this tree, I think. This is why I love these location scouting trips. Rather than kind of going to classic photo spots, we're just exploring everywhere and hoping to find something. And this is the type of place that, like I said, I could just spend hours on. I don't know if any of the photos are good, but I think so. <laughs> and whether they're good or not, this is the type of place that gets me excited about photography because I just see images everywhere. And not only is it beautiful, but I think it's one of those places that you can play tricks with your camera lens. And I really like doing that. So I've been going really wide and I've also been going a little bit telephoto and just having fun with every single shot. Yeah, this might be the most fun I've had with my camera in months. I took about two dozen photos here. Even as I'm taking the pictures, I'm already excited for the next time I come back here. Eventually though, we dragged ourselves away and into the night. In the morning, we were back on the cliffs. Okay, so we're up early again this morning for sunrise, back where we were yesterday at sunrise. We got kind of skunked yesterday, so we thought we'd come back. Gnarly cliff. Kind of scary. And I've got a photo this morning, same as yesterday, but it's kind of an example of the reason of why I use filters versus blending. I've got a three-stop reverse grad ND on right now, and the advantage to using that filter versus just taking two photos is if I take two photos, the photo of the clouds is going to be like three stops less. So my 30 second exposure is going to become 15, 8, 4 seconds and I lose the movement in the clouds. Whereas now with a 30 second exposure for the whole entire image, 
I got this cool movement in the clouds and I think that really adds the atmosphere to this image. So um, I'm not sure we're going to get epic light this morning because there is a lot of cloud on the horizon, but already the light is pretty good. Definitely better than it was yesterday. Just like the day before, the best image is before sunrise. At sunrise, I played with the sun star that I'd been planning, but the clouds had already kind of dissipated. Okay, I'm so glad we came back up here because it wasn't perfect, but it was really good. I love shooting straight into the backlight in scenes like this. It just creates a really cool, warm mood. And this whole trip has been a warm mood. Madeira has been absolutely awesome. Cannot wait to come back again next year uh, for another full week. And uh, as for life, my next trip is going to be into the Dolomites. But maybe I'll show you around Portugal a little bit more. I'll see you there. Peace. Let me tell you quickly about today's sponsor. Squarespace is an amazing place for photographers and bloggers to build a really professional looking website really quickly and easily. It has a lot of templates that make it simple to get started. You have great resources too, like members only areas. Easy to build stores for selling arts and even services. Of course, there's also lots of other great tools for creators such as a logo maker and in-depth analytics. So if you're looking for a photography website or portfolio, head to squarespace.com slash Brendan Vanson for a 10% discount on your first purchase. Link in the description.